Oh, what a day so far. Hey, what's in this bag? Well, if you go on any vacations, if you notice uh, on all previous vacations, uh, since I own this, uh, what's in this bag, is, uh, of course you know what, of course you guys know what it is. Uh, my laptop. Uh, I only use it during vacations and other occasions. Uh, last time I used it was up in Tabula, and I noticed, uh, on my film editing, on uh, the last two to three videos, I used the wrong font. So I'm going to wake this up. I'm going to find the correct font I'm supposed to be using for the uh, titles. But I did use the wrong font on the two to three Sabula videos. So we're going to wake this thing up, get it working. I know we're only a couple of days. We're like today, tomorrow, and off to our vacation on Monday. Of course, you know we're on vacation because you already watch our live streams. Oh, by the way, I was out in the car rental and I did some uh, mount tests and I'm going to be using some koozies. I'm going to need at least one more to keep it from wobbling. That's what I want to do is just keep it from wobbling. Because when it wobbles, I, I can't do anything with it. Gotta make sure we got this woken. Sometimes it's a little slow. It is an older computer. I only use it for, uh, I only had it for about maybe five years. I use it for editing videos. Otherwise, I had to wait till we got home from our vacations to edit videos. So this was a very important tool. Now it's going through the process because I haven't used it since the uh, uh, Sibula. So it probably needs to be reset and we'll do that. It's alive! It's alive! Thank God it's alive! Well, I think it's alive. Can't really tell. But yeah, it's it's waking up. Ah, there we go! Yay! It's alive! It's alive! Thank God it's alive, because we need it for editing. Ah, Las Vegas, Nevada. That's the first year we went. I took that photo for this computer. I used to have it on my desktop. I don't know more. But this is what I use for my desktop on this one. And we took this out at the uh, parking garage hotel rooms. It was on top of the parking garage. And you can see that was a better view. Okay, besides that, uh, my latest, I have two corrals. I have the uh, older version and my current version. My current version is right here. As you see, it's right here. And that's the version we'll be using. That's the current version I'm using. So uh, right now, we just got to go to Be Funky. Be funky like a monkey. And uh, we're going to set a font, okay? We got to reset our font. It should be coming up here shortly. Like I said, it is an older computer. I only used it for a couple times. And uh, that's basically it. Just go to Be Funky. I got to hit Enter. There we go. Now it's coming up. Okay, the last time I used this computer, that was the last thumbnail. I use and you notice that is a wrong font so what we're going to do is we're going to just click start new but we're going to do a bogus uh, actually let's do the text right here actually we're not supposed to do a text we'll just do something else instead so let's say if I was retitling another uh, video of some kind it will come out here shortly pictures of uh, thumbnails that we use on this computer since our Vegas trip and our most recent ones that she's popping up here really quick is our Sabula ones right here which I only did two so let's go ahead let's redo this one but I, all I'm doing is uh, resetting the font uh, because I had the wrong font on this so the font I was using on this was something I did not really want to use, but it's something else I need to use. It'll be a while. It's a circle of death. Every live stream is nightmare. Okay, uh, why that's coming up, I'll be going to the desktop, and I'm going to be registering the car rental plate to the Illinois Toll Road System. And it's a very simple process. Just fill out your information. Uh, just follow the prompts. There we go. Now it's up. Yeah, that's before I got my hair cut, too. Uh, I just got to go to the other computer. I got to register the car with the Illinois Toll Road system. Reason is because 
uh, since I used to, uh, I still have the transponder for the Illinois toll roads and other toll roads. Unfortunately, it's outdated and I still can't find it. Uh, I'm not going to waste time today uh, to do this. My main purpose is to wake up this computer a couple of times, get it working, so it'll be a little bit faster time we get the vacation uh, time. So I just needed to wake it up, let it know, hey, it's vacation time, uh, but it's the computer's time to go to work. Uh, yeah, something like that. Okay, uh, like I said, I gotta fix this font. Uh, the font I was using, just had to go down to T over here, hit text, and click on text, and I was using, uh, Impact. I'm not using Impact. Uh, the one I need to use is Bulby 1. I'll let the fonts come up. Maybe it'll come up on its own, but yeah, it's a little slow, so it's gonna wake up. I don't like to use, I use Impact for the titles if I need to make a point or mention something wrong I'll just use the impact or whatever I can find that's it like I said I had not used this since uh, mid-June so it is gonna be and uh, when I used it in mid-June that was the first time I used it for since I started the new the spring and summer uh, intros and outros I just had to make sure my current music uh, that I'm currently using uh, for the intros and altos is downloaded to this computer already so that's why I got the uh, spring and summer intros and altos. Speaking of intros and altos, I gotta edit the fall uh, the fall winter and it's gonna feature something special because since we went to Vegas last fall I'm just gonna have something in the intro that will just heat things up you know what I mean uh, take a wild guess down below what that is okay, let's move over to the desktop uh, basically so uh, well, because it's, and like I said, it's, it's, it's slow. I may, I may have to get a new laptop, uh, in the future after the trip. Uh, maybe after a couple trips, I don't know. We'll just see how much money we can save up for that one. I just want a little bit better laptop next time. Okay. Right now, we'll just do this real quick. Uh, I'll show you the website here. It's the Illinois Toll Road, uh, Tollway. And... You just kind of hit the home page, and voila, and there it is right there. You can see it right there. Pay by plate. Let's take a look at it right now. Okay, for you guys who are, uh, like I said, still waking up the other computer, I may have to turn it off, turn it back on again, because it's reloading that website over there. Okay, you can still get the iPass here, but it takes a while. You can pay unpaid tolls over here, so let's say if you had any unpaid tolls, uh, any unpaid tolls uh, within 14, pay by plate, pay any unpaid tolls within 14 days, so you just set up your plate right there. So what you do is you go down here, click on uh, your plate, and uh, log into a plate, uh, something like that. Already have the service. We don't have the service, so we'll have to set up a service. Because we don't have the service, so all you do is uh, use pay by play, fine, avoid fines and fees, and get started today. You got to fill all this information out: passwords, security questions, answer. Uh, I have read, uh, I've read except uh, website terms, basic legal stuff. I have read the pay by play terms, which I'm going to have to review before I get it started anyway. Uh, it's just write out your personal information, verification, and uh, and you just have to put your plate in, and uh, so they know what to look for. And you pay uh, after your trip, uh, technically, uh, which is in uh, eight days, fourteen days to pay it. Uh, so I only got like seven days after that to pay it. And it's only good if you're traveling through the state of Illinois because Illinois as far as I know has if you saw in our previous videos back in 2019 and maybe 2017 and possibly uh, 2016 how we just drove right through the toll roads at, at high rate of speeds while everybody else is kicked over to the curb and had to say that Mr. Toll Plaza guy, Mr. Toll guy, uh, or Miss Toll guy, or Miss Toll lady, Miss Toll woman, or uh, whatever, uh, the toll person, 
uh, if you don't, you got to pay them a little visit. So you're going to pay by the plate. It's best to do it this way. So this way, even if you don't have an iPass, it's probably best for people who are using car rentals, personal, somebody else's personal vehicles, or maybe you forgot to register another vehicle. Like maybe, maybe you just bought a new vehicle and forgot to transfer the old plates to the new plates, something like that. So you want to make sure it's registered and. Uh, it's a very simple process, looks like, and it's a good way to avoid fines and all that stuff. Because if you don't, if all they have to do is, because if you go without a plate, uh, if you go out without the service, it's seven days. Uh, you have to pay within seven days. Otherwise, here they'll give you a little leniency. It's fourteen days. But I'll make sure I read up on it to make sure it's good. Right now, let's check check over here on the other computer. It looks like it's back running again. We start this, so just click on continue editing. Uh, hit the text again, hit text, and I want to change the font. So let's click on the font, and there's all my fonts. What we're looking for is, this is my original font right there. If you remember, I started doing titles, this is my original font. Uh, we're looking for Bobby One, uh, basically. That's what we're looking for. And here it is. That's what I'm currently using. And we'll click this one out. We don't really... Uh, need this one. Uh, delete item. Okay. And this is one we really need to use because it's a little thicker. Uh, but uh, I can always uh, do this, but it's already thick enough as it is. So we we'll just center it and we just retitle it right there. I just got to make sure I'm on Bulby 1. Uh, let's go check the other computer to verify that I am using the correct. Uh, I'm using this correct font right here. That's all I need to know is Bobby One. That's the current font I'm using for our YouTube video. Uh, recognize the recent uh, video that I uploaded just not too long ago. Uh, we're just going to hit text right here just to show you that I'm using Bobby One over here, which is right there. That is the current one. This is off my. Uh, this is at my uh, little office right here. So this is why I primarily edit my videos over here on this desktop. This is that computer I was talking about. I had to get a uh, temporary computer. It has bad memory. has a bad hard drive. My laptop has a better storage space than this one. Go figure. <laughs> okay, uh, right now we'll just go ahead and delete the item. And that's it on that part. Right now, I just gotta do this, and we'll talk about it later, okay? Battery power, because it looks pretty well drained. It's plugged in. Starting to see a little bar developing here. So we're gonna put this to sleep. And we're gonna wake it up in about maybe, well that's the wrong time, guys. I'm not gonna worry about the time, because I'm only doing this temporarily. And we're just gonna put it to sleep. And uh, we'll come back to it, but that's my Hero Packard uh, laptop. That's what we use to edit our videos on our vacations. So, obviously, you guys knew this, but for the ones who want to know the secrets, if you want to do YouTube, and if you're on vacation, always best to have some kind of halfway decent laptop. Uh, because this is a cheaper one, it's a little slower, but the more you work with it, the faster it gets. Uh, but it's not going to be very fast, I'll guarantee you right now. This, I had this since... Uh, I had this in about uh, since 20, uh, 2017 or 2018, somewhere around 2018. No, I think it was about tw about tw about 2019 or something like that. I don't know. I had it for a few years. I had it through the pandemic, so it's been through the pandemic. It's been through a couple of, uh, out of town videos. And it works great because this way I don't have to put a bunch of gobbledygook videos till I got home. And that so it works great now we can edit the videos since the channel memberships since the channel memberships this is important this is now the most important tool I need to keep my channel members happy when we upload a video if they see it 24 hours after we filmed it so it's very this now this is the most important tool we have hey, um, got good news we got bad news uh, yeah I'm having issues uh, getting the plate by plate pay by plate uh, issues and I decided I'm gonna call it a day here 
and uh, we'll just I just pop them an email because uh, because the car rental features uh, features two letters that is in a vertical position. I think you guys know what state I'm talking about that has this. It's considered a fleet plate, and even it is a car rental, but the Illinois toll system recognizes it. Get this. Elder called truck slash trailer commercial. That means I have to pay trucker's rate. So I pop them an email to let them know that I have a car rental that features those two letters, uh, the, the two letters that they're in question, followed by the number. And I just ask them, do I pay car rate or trucker's rate? If it's a trucker's rate, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, next time I use the Illinois toll system, I better get me either a brand new, uh, find my old, uh, because I got to find my old one, and uh, I got to get my $10 deposit on it back so I can get a, a new one. So next time I travel east and need to use the toll roads, I better get a new uh, uh, iPass and that. Otherwise, we're going to be, otherwise, if I don't get this resolved, it looks like we will be paying out of pocket through Illinois. It's really not that bad of a rate. I just have to deal with um, a few tolls. I'll calculate the math, and if we can't get the system, we'll just see Mr. or uh, Ms. Uh, uh, toll booth operator. Uh, as long as we don't use the ramp, because I have to use coins. I already deposited all my coins, but I think Angie may have some loose ones anyway. Uh, like nickels, dimes. I better get some nickels and dimes in some form. But otherwise, looks like we're going to be paying uh, out of pocket, and that's that's not good news. Uh, I'd rather just pay by the plate, uh, pay for it later, because when we use the Ohio and uh, Indiana, the Ohio Turnpike and the Indiana Toll Road, uh, we'll be coming home, and we already got the finances we need uh, just to cover those tolls plus Illinois again. So if that's going to be the case, uh, the budget is going to get a little tighter. I was hoping to loosen up a little bit by not by not paying the tolls, just have the toll uh, have the toll cameras read the plate. And I get billed 14 days later. That's basically it. up to 14 days later. I can pay as soon as I get home. As soon as I get the invoice, I can just pay it when we get home. But that's not the workout. All right. We'll feel we in this video. Let's wake this thing up again and see if we can get this thing running and go faster. Otherwise, we're almost done. Tomorrow is packing day. We just got to pack what we need for the whole trip. I went out to the car today. I tested the uh, mount. I am using some uh, things that we have here that we have an abundance of, koozies, to brace the, uh, the camera in place, to help brace the camera in place. I just probably need one more koozie. I'm using a stack of six uh, between the dash and below the cell phone camera because as you saw that live stream, it was shaky, shaky, bouncy, bouncy. And we got to eliminate that somehow so we have a nice smooth stream. And that, and you're able to get to see out the window because you don't want to see much of the dash at all. If I can keep the dash just below right here where my finger is and everything up, you see, I think we should be okay. Well, you would have known that anyway by watching the live stream, of course. Right now, let's wake up this Open computer. This up. We're going to wake it up again. Should be a little faster this time. I think I put it to sleep. Yeah, I put it to sleep. Forget the time and that. I'll have to do the password here. So give me a second. The page we wanted. We're going to go see how fast it uploads. Uh, I'm going to say, hey, it's a little faster. What do we have for notifications today? Ah, uh, not much happening today. Everybody has replied, as of this video, has replied to our recent video. And, uh, that's basically it. Um, we're at half, uh, we're at half power. If you can see that little battery right there, we're at half power. So, I think we'll be good to go. I'll just uh, do this off camera and just keep playing with it so we can have that. I love that shot right there. And I think we'll just wrap up this video. All our main purpose was we we're just waking up this computer. That's all we need to do. Just wake it up, get it active, get it rolling. 
So it'll be faster editing uh, when we get to our hotel uh, Monday night after we pay our visit at Six Flags Great America. And when it comes to editing and rendering, it's going to be just what it is. It's going to be pretty slow. Okay, I just got to remember, is this, when I go to Great America, I got to make sure I have a cord and charger for this camera because this sucks up power like crazy according to the setup I have. So the setup I have is eating up a lot of power. I've already almost got a dead battery anyway. So we're going to wrap up this video anyway. And just by saying this, I, we got our computers woke up. I'm having issues with the uh, tow thing about the license plate. They wanted, it's a passenger car, but they wanted me to register it as a uh, commercial vehicle. Well, it is a commercial vehicle in a way because it's a car rental. So it's kind of a commercial vehicle in a way because a normal company is making money off that car. So uh, that's basically it. So And they use Illinois plates. So, uh, and I can't exchange it today. Office is closed. So I'm basically stuck with the car. So if I don't hear a word, I'll just go down, I'll pay uh, accordingly to the toll booth operator, because they'll probably take a glance at the plate, and they'll determine the price that way. Alright, or I'll see if I get that email reply before our trip. That's the main thing. Alright, uh, like I said, we woke up this computer, we're getting active, getting rolling, and we're out of here. Please like, share, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe to the notification bell. It's just another drama but at least I'm getting it done today. I think I should have done it. I think I should have done the Illinois thing yesterday after I got the, after I got the car rental. I had time to do it. But I was kind of tired from what I was doing. Uh, this is a live stream. Just had to test out something real quick. Alright. We'll see you guys uh, later.